Hey everyone, welcome back to Prime 5, your five biggest uh, Nintendo news stories here in the last 24 hours. We got some big news for you today, we got some stuff about Octopath Traveler 2, oh boy, it's pretty exciting. Some stuff on Sonic Frontiers as well, a couple stories dealing with that game. Uh, we have a little bit of news on an upcoming release related to Breath of the Wild, so... Keep that in mind. And a very old game from my childhood is coming back in a new fantastic way to Nintendo Switch that actually has me a little bit excited. Now, I would love if you guys would decide if you want to subscribe to the channel and drop a like and all that because, hey, we are on our road to 80,000 subscribers. I would actually like to hit 80,000 maybe by, I don't know, Thanksgiving? Is that possible? Can we do that? Huh? I don't know. It would just bring a smile to my face for this holiday season. That being said, let's get right into the news. So our first story deals with a brand new five minute trailer for Octopath Traveler 2. And yes, it looks really damn good. This game has looked really good every time they've shown it off. Now it features a ton of locations and characters, story elements, and even music from the game, which you won't hear here. Uh, several gameplay systems are also detailed throughout this trailer. And yeah, it features the game's HD 2D graphics and they get a ton of time in the spotlight as they're trying to show you how they have advanced since the original Octopath Traveler. Look, this is one of my most anticipated upcoming games on Nintendo Switch. It is going to be a multi-platform release, which is awesome because that means all gamers get to play it. The original Octopath Traveler eventually went to everything as well. So look, this is really good news. The prequel even on phones is pretty good. People always say, hey, what's a good phone game hey the prequel for octopath traveler is actually a very good phone game so look i'm really excited for this one it's going to be a major rpg coming to switch yet again let you know raise your hand clap put them together clap your hands if you've heard major rpg coming to switch because switch is sort of becoming a haven for rpgs western jrpg doesn't really seem to matter so yes 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 i'm all for that let's get into our next story so sonic frontiers has well leaked and leaked online in some various ways i don't believe there's a playable version online yet some people are somehow getting early retail copies falling off the truck copies whatever the case might be in certain countries but because of this we are getting a bunch of footage and details about the game leaking at places such as 4chan now we're not going to actually dive into these leaks themselves I will say I did watch some of the gameplay clips and confirmed these are actually legit leaks. So yes, this is real. This is a thing. The game is out there and people are posting gameplay clips at places that are hard to shut down. So right now this isn't a everyone can play the game style leak. This is just people have it and they're sharing all the information. But uh, we're not going to cover much more than that. I just wanted to point out that, hey, if you're trying to avoid spoilers, they do exist out there. They aren't being widely shared on like Twitter and YouTube and stuff like that because, you know, Sega is shutting that stuff down. But if you're interested, we will have a link to where I found some of this stuff. If you want to go check it out, again, it's your prerogative if this is something you're interested in. It's just, hey, look, I watched a few of the clips. Game looks pretty good so far, but these are just clips so i mentioned earlier that there would be something related to the breath of the wild in here and that's because a new statue from first four figures is up for pre-order right now and if you pre-order now before november 25th yes you can end up getting a ten dollar discount it's going to cost you 139.99 normally 149.99 it's 11.2 inches tall it's made out of pvc we're talking about urbosa looks fantastic this is one of their more affordable uh new figures that they're releasing and i always love the pvc line because it, it takes the quality of first four figures and then makes it affordable for the masses versus the five seven thousand dollar statues they have done in the past so this is really great news if you guys want to go ahead and pre-order it we'll put a link down in the description now before we get into our next story i want to thank our, the sponsor of today's video ewin racing maybe uh ewin racing has decided to sponsor our entire channel for the next three months big shout out to them and you know what if you are looking for a new office chair if you're looking for a new gamer chair just kind of sit back and relax when you're gaming on your tv or at your pc or wherever you like to sit i can't suggest ewin racing chairs enough they have a, a lot of different options ranging from 230 dollars all the way up to a more premium 450 plus option depending on what suits your style i've been using them for a couple of years i really enjoy their chairs you've seen them on my channel a lot if you guys would like to get your own ewin racing chair why don't you use the link down in the description and hey if you use code nintendo prime at checkout all one word capital n capital p you can get 20 percent off your order so thank you guys so much 
to Ewen Racing for supporting us and for those of you that want to continue to support us and purchase one of these chairs down below. Remember when I said Sonic Frontiers a moment ago is leaking? Well, this isn't actually a leak for this part. I wanted to mention that they did release a prologue. Sega released an official prologue animation for the game. I'm hoping this animation is included in the game. Again, I haven't watched it because I have been avoiding spoilers. If it's not included in the game, I've already voiced on a live stream that I think that's a bit of a problem if they don't include it with the game because I don't think when you're playing Sonic Frontiers, you should have to leave Sonic Frontiers to find out information about Sonic Frontiers. Apparently, something about the protagonist is in this, and uh, to me, that's vital information. Should be in the game. So it's out there, though, in case you want to watch it. It's officially released. It's not a leak. So go ahead and enjoy. We'll put a link to it down below. Now, I mentioned a game from my childhood is coming back, and I can't stress enough how big of a, of a, of a deal this is to me because I spent so many hours playing this game. Oregon Trail is coming back. Yes, the Oregon Trail. For those who don't know what this game is, can't blame you because it's really ancient but it's coming back it's being remastered it's going to be $29.99 it's made by Gameloft we don't know when it's coming out we just know it's coming to Switch and PC and here's what they had to say about it experience the Oregon Trail like never before a modern twist on the trials and tribulations of the road to Oregon this official successor to the global phenomenon will immerse players in exhilarating journeys ranging from historically accurate to the totally extreme players will pick their traveling party stock the wagon with supplies and embark on an adventure filled with tough choices new dangers and unexpected situations surviving blizzards broken limbs snake bites exhaustion starvation and the dreaded dysentery of no small feat all the while navigating an untamed frontier to get your party to their new life in oregon before the winter track down a missing party in the aftermath of a fierce blizzard transport volatile gunpowder through blistering desert heat compete in challenging hunting mini games and meet a broadcast of historic figures with procedurally selected random events where players Players' choices affect their party and future game events. There's always a new adventure on the horizon every time you play. And all I can hope is that while I'm traveling on Oregon Trail, that I don't end up drowning my entire family while crossing a river. Yes, folks, I have very fond memories of Oregon Trail. I played a lot of this. It was actually one of the few games that were on our school computers back in the 90s. Can you believe that? That's crazy. That number munchers. Anyways, folks, I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in to Prime 5. It's been a, a nice journey to get back here. I'm really glad that we got a regular flow of content. Hopefully, I have another video for you later today on a completely different topic. But hey, if you enjoy this stuff, drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'm going to catch you guys in the next video.